Hello everyone, welcome to the second video to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. In this video, I'll explain how to properly set up your grid and its parameters. First, grids are annotation elements that help organize our design. We add grid lines to our model in order to provide reference and framework for our project. Now, here in our drawing area, we can place a grid either by going to architecture or structure, and this button right here, or we can simply just click the shortcut key, we use GR, here. Now, it's always a good practice to have two bubble heads at each end, but before I forget, I would like to explain what this window here means. This is a properties palette window. It's mostly just a text dialog that we can edit and view the parameters that define our element, much like the grid here. Now, let's try to edit the grid's parameters. Click the grid, go to the edit type here in the properties palette. Now, I would like to explain the parameter for the grid. Let's start with a symbol. If you try to hover your mouse, there will actually be a help window, but let me try to explain them. The symbol is the head at the end of each grid wherein we can change what it looks like. For now, the circle is our choice. In, a future, in some future videos, I will explain how we can add more symbol family to our grid heads. The center segment. This controls or customizes our grid line in the middle. Best to just leave it continuous. And segment weight. This is the line width of our grid. It just controls the thickness of the lines. And segment color allows us to define its color to our preference. And segment pattern. It gives various looks much like the center segment for our grid. And lastly, plan view symbols end one and end two. If I were to untick one of them, as you see, the second head is missing. If I were to untick the other one as well, both heads will now be missing. It's a good practice to just have both of these ticked. Okay, next we have to rename the number into one and we'll just copy paste them accordingly. Let's add two. As you see, Revit automatically fills it up for us. Next is our horizontal grid. Change this to a letter. And do the same, we're gonna copy it. Again, Revit automatically fills it out for us. Let's delete this. Now, that's it for our second page. Next, we will be doing levels. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's going to help me a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.